Oh yeah, it's time for another video here at uh, Network Optics. Very dramatic video about how to restart your camera. It's been a while since our last video. So I thought I'd do something extra special, just kidding. So this is like an intro that takes like 30 seconds we've never used because of it. And it's super dramatic, so let's, let's go ahead and stop that. It's kind of overly dramatic. All right, so today, how to restart a camera. Um, so this is a feature that not a lot of people know about um, because it's kind of buried in the camera settings. Um, so I wanted to show you guys real quickly how to restart a camera. So here we are. I'm back in uh, Burbank. I've been on uh, vacation for six weeks in Barcelona, which is a very nice place. I was actually learning how to code Python and Django. I'm um, back. So now we're going to get back into some videos and, and how to make some stuff uh, work, how to do some things that people have no idea how to do. So how to restart a camera? Pretty simple. Um, go to the camera settings dialog. Um, the camera settings dialog has some some tabs that you guys should be familiar with. There's a general tab. It has general formation. You can run ping test, image control, authentication audio, that kind of good stuff. The recording tab lets you set up the recording schedule, uh, motion, motion detection, fisheye if it's a fisheye lens. And then there's the advanced tab and the expert tab. Now the expert tab is something you don't really want to touch unless you know what you're doing or we've told you to do this, um, or did, we told you to do something with this because you're trying to achieve a specific type of functionality. Um, so if you're not sure uh, what to do with this, follow the warning here, do not change these settings unless you're absolutely sure of their potential impact on your system performance. Then there's the advanced tab. Um, the advanced tab gives you the camera ID, uh, which is used in API calls, and, and, and uh, it's a unique identifier for every single camera in the system. Um, and then there's the primary stream and the secondary stream coming from the device itself. Um, also in, in the advanced tab, you can have a section down here. Now the section down here is basically all of the features that the camera allows us to interact with um, from our software. So we get these features either via native API integration um, or via OnVIF. Um, and ONVIF is a self-declared standard, so ONVIF in level integrations are going to have different kind of capabilities in here. Um, if it's a native integration like this one, because this is a Hanwha XNV 8080R, um, then they're going to be consistent in the information they kind of present to you and in the settings you can change. So you can see this is a native integration with Hanwha using the Sun API. Um, and it's got primary stream, secondary stream, kind of audio, video source information, image adjustments. Um, a lot of cool stuff um, and it's got maintenance down here um, so just to show you in most cameras um, even on the cameras you'll usually see a maintenance section um, so if I switch cameras here right now I'm selected the Hanwha if I switch over to the fisheye you can see I still got maintenance under maintenance is where you'll usually find like a reboot or a restart um, the terminology is different depending on the camera manufacturers um, so this one says reboot um, I can also do a soft reset, which is basically resetting the camera without changing the network settings. Or I can do a hard reset, which is a total factory reset, right? If you do a total factory reset, you might end up with a different IP address that's not in your subnet. So make sure you know what you're doing here, um, depending on your camera. So let's go back to the other one here. So maintenance. In, this, in the Hanwha cameras, you get simple focus, initialize focus, uh, reset to factory defaults, except for network settings, which is clearer than just soft reset. Uh, and reset to factory defaults. Um, and then you have a button here that says restart. So you want to restart a camera if your camera is kind of doing weird stuff. Um, I don't know how to explain it. So it's being unstable or you're getting a, a weird secondary stream or something just the audio is not working and that type of stuff is usually when you want to restart a camera. So we're going to go ahead and press restart here. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to restart the device? And yes, we do. Right. Um, and usually it'll take about 10 or 20 seconds for that device to restart once you send the command because I guess it's kind of like shutting down and also we have to detect that it's gone which takes a little bit of time um, because we're, we, we have to confirm it's offline, right? So usually 10 to 20 seconds. In the meantime, um, maybe we can watch some more of the dramatic video. Let's see. No. So dramatic. All right, I won't do that, it's way too loud. Um, so the camera, you just saw it blink kind of yellow. That means that we just lost some signal to it, right? Um, you can see in the notifications over here, there's a network issue. 
Um, basically, we told the camera to restart. It's going to restart. Our server is going to detect that it's restarting, so there's, therefore there's going to be a network issue. It goes offline. Um, when it comes back online, then it'll um, come back online. It's a technical explanation of what just happened. Uh, when it goes offline, when it went offline, it went offline. And when it came back online, it came back online. Technology. So there you go. That's how you restart a camera. Um, pretty simple. Like I said, camera settings dialog, advanced tab, maintenance is usually where you're going to find that option on cameras. Thanks, guys. Cue the dramatic outro.